Yeah, I, I think there's a part of Bill Simmons that just decided, let me just poke fun at this guy because I don't know why you decided to go back uh, uh, to it? ESPN. Speaking of, speaking of ESPN, mm-hmm. Shannon Sharp works for ESPN, but he's been making headlines for pretty much nothing that he's been saying on ESPN, but for all of the things off of ESPN. Yeah. I don't know. There's so many different <laughs> things we got to get to, so let's just go one by one. Mm-hmm. You heard the beef between Mike Epps and Shannon Sharp. That one I'm sure you heard. Yeah. Then just today, D.L. Hughley came out and said that he will not go on Club Shay Shay, even if he's invited. Eddie Griffin, the, com- the, the comedian, just last night was making fun of Shannon Sharp, questioning certain questions I won't mention now about his orientation, that stuff. Mm. And now it seems like Shannon went from having the biggest interview ever to now being caught up in the beef sex- section of entertainment where now every single day he's either responding to someone going at mace responding to that one how do you think what's the mace one oh the mace one was basically you know when shannon sharp called out uh mike epps he calls him out and he's like when i see you i'm gonna see if you're about that work blah 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 blah. mike epps then responds hey i don't fight i don't fight so there's only other one thing that we can do so they had that conversation. So Mace and Cam, you know, they're going to crack jokes about everything. So Mace is now reacting to what uh, Mike Epps and and and, uh, and Shannon Sharp said. And Mace was like, I see you over there doing all them curls, all them push-ups and all this. So he has a jacket. He's like, I dare you. I dare <laughs> you to try. Like, that, that's what Mace was I dare you. He's like, don't nobody care about all those muscles and all of that. Blah, blah. So then Shannon Sharp hears that. And he on on the show a nightcap. He's like, now you got fake gangster pastors coming at me and this and this. And, and some people are like, yo, Shannon, bro, take it easy. Mace was in wow. trouble. So he's has he's like, wow. Shannon is caught up in so much beef. And my question is, what are your thoughts about all of this? Man, I got so many answers. Damn. Um, <laughs> let me just. I'm familiar with everybody. Everyone you just named, I know. Like different degrees, obviously, but I know all. Hold on, you know Mace. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen oh him in a couple God, years. Man. We, Me and Mace That's kicked crazy. it in Vegas a while back. We were at the front desk and kicked it. And uh, it's Vegas, so leave it wow. there. Um, wow. But no, That's, that's cool. Mace. Uh, Cam, uh, all of you cats. These is, I'm old, bro. That's all that is. It ain't like I'm, <laughs> oh, I'm famous. Like, I'm old. Um, now, I was on the flight with DL <coughs> coming back from the Super Bowl. That's the homie uh, from the hood. Oh, man. All these cats. All right. I, I feared this. I really feared this mm. with Shannon. And he's turning to the Wendy Williams of what he's Ooh. doing, and it's not fair. Ooh. But mm. someone told me that, and I, I, I kind of argued with him, but then I was like, no, I know what you're saying. Because Wendy Williams, to me, was super talented, first of all. Right. I, I, say what you want with the topics, but gosh, she got through them things. I was like, this yeah. lady is a beast. Absolutely. And that's <laughs> Shannon is a beast at what he does. But... I learned a long time ago, like what, how, you gotta know the difference between what you're doing and how you're doing it. So I started to catch a lot of fire and a lot of like virality. I was going viral for talking about people like Stephen A and people in the industry and kind of correcting their behaviors. You know, the Max Kellerman time uh, Mm -hmm. when I went at Stephen A, all that stuff. And I didn't like that because it's like, that ain't what I'm trying to do. What I'm trying to do is just like, yo, won't you put respect on people's names and respect how we do this game? But right. I, I know my way is not going to be very popular. But I was like, I'd rather do it my level, highbrow, positive, than do it the way that I know gets clicks. And I feared it for Shannon because I was like, that way is going to get clicks. But it's going to come with its issues. So you go mm-hmm. all the way back to when Shannon first start popping again. See, I used to work with Shannon and went on this show before when he was at CBS. This is like early 2000s oh, wow. with Dan Marino wow. and Deion Sanders and all those times. So I've always known Shannon, you know, and I played against Shannon. So when Shannon start popping on Undisputed, it wasn't for who Shannon fully was. Shannon wasn't drinking. Shannon don't smoke. Look at Shannon. First of all, look at Shannon. Now think if really, he's... What? Well, he does. Sorry, Shannon, he, Shannon don't smoke? Well, he didn't then. I don't think he still does now. No, nah, no. Nah. 
Um, and this is not calling Shannon out. This is like no, 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 no. Just, just out of curiosity, I didn't this, know that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This is like this is brand building, right? This is how cats add layers to themselves and call it a persona, so they they can get their dough, get their clicks, whatever it may be. So I was like, oh, Shannon is killing it with this onk, like onk. And I was right. like, but he ain't onk. That ain't really who he is. And you know, it can go further. Like Whitlock goes all the way on him. Like Shannon oh, ain't yeah, never yeah, dated, Whitlock. you know, Shannon ain't never dated yeah, no yeah, black yeah, women. He, like I don't go yeah, there. Yeah, he, yeah, 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 Whitlock <laughs> would go all the way with him. I'm like, I knew certain things that Shannon was representing that wasn't Shannon. And I was like, but look, it's working. Who am I? Uh, I'm not jealous because everything that everybody does in this industry, I've done too. Now, some of them done it bigger than me, but nobody's done what I've done, uh, something different. I'm like, all right, so I've been everywhere you've been. So it's, I'm not coming from that jealous angle. I'm coming from like, be careful <laughs> because it comes with right. its consequences. And here's the consequence now of letting somebody come on your show and just rip, which I love Cat Williams' interview. People are not going to like being talked about, and then they're going to get mad at you for allowing it happen on your platform. That's part one. Mm. Part two, mm -hmm. they're going to say, you didn't even stop them. You didn't even redirect right. them, and then going to have the nerve to ask me to come up there. What you trying to do? And it just, at a certain point, whether it's right or wrong, it just, it's messy. And Shannon's going to find himself mm. wrestling with pigs, trying to stay clean. Grandma Ben told me about that, dog. Don't wear white because mm -hmm. you ain't going to stay clean, <laughs> bro. And that's where I find him right now. Um, everybody's going to take their shots because he put it out there in the energy in the world. I'm a place where you can take those shots. So if energy can't be cre uh, created or destroyed, just transfer. So you are transferring energy on your platform where you can take shots at everybody. Oh, they're going to return that fire. They're going to transfer right. it back to you. That's why, you know, negativity always breeds more negativity. The, the, the thing that I'm worried about is that he somehow, and I don't think it was, an, I don't think it was his intention, but he's pushing himself into like the beef sector. Because now what some of these people are saying, like Eddie Griffin, these guys are coming at him hard. Like, it's not like they're just cracking, like, oh, like, a soft joke. No, they're really, really coming at him. And I think a part of it, I think Shannon may feel like everyone is coming at him. I think he thinks, based on what he said, is like, oh, they're jealous of the Cat Williams interview. But I don't think that's what it is anymore. Because the Cat Williams interview was one thing. But then he got Monique. Yeah. Monique came on yeah. and did... The exact same thing Cat Williams did. The exact yeah. same thing, basically. Yeah. Call out uh, 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 um, um, Tyler Perry. Call out uh, D.L. Hughley. Call out so many people. and uh, Kevin Hart. All of these people. And then people are like, whoa, whoa, wait a minute now. Why, why are you bringing people onto your show that have gripes and issues with other comedians specifically? And then you just sit back and cash a check and act like you don't know what's going on. And then when they call you out on it, you're like, well, you're just jealous of my views. And I don't think some of these people are jealous. I think there's a part of it where it's like, bro, be careful with the drug. Because it's getting him clicks. But man, I I, I hope it doesn't have a, a negative impact down the road when people get tired of it. Yeah. I mean, look, <clears throat> I, I've been known that low frequency gets higher ratings. Um it, it's just if you talk to dumb shit, you're going to get more love. Like, just how it goes. So we all know that. Everybody in this content space knows that. So when you subscribe to that as the creator, then people are like, ooh, you really about that. So to protect yourself, you always say everyone's jealous. That's why, you know, Shannon will always probably strike back, say, oh, they're jealous. They're just mad. They're just mad. No, no, everybody's not mad. Everybody's like, oh, we don't like you trying to play that rigged game and acting like you not affecting real people's lives and, and bottom lines, or you're allowing something that is not full of integrity or any integrity. Cause who knows what's real from fake. And if you what's ain't going to check them, then you just letting right. anybody say anything on that big ass platform. Like, come on dog. So yeah. nobody, everybody who's successful gets talked about, but what are they saying is the different conversation with this mm, one. Mm, um, mm. And look, Shannon may be in a place, and this happens. Fame is a dangerous drug, y'all. And Shannon's been famous mm. for a long time, but this is different. <laughs> and this so is different. This, this is, is different, different, right? And so when you get there, what bunkers you is, oh, man, they tripping. Oh, they jealous. Oh, they wish they could. And then what happens is 
your your circumstances change because people get tired of it. They get fatigued of it. They start coming at you to the point where you better change up what you do or else. Um, I, look, two interviews shouldn't make Shannon. Shannon's done a billion things in this industry. Right. It shouldn't be like that, but it is starting to feel a little rap executive, like, you know, Jerry Heller or something like, I own a rap mm -hmm. company and all I want is gangster mm -hmm. killer rappers. Mm -hmm. And that's fine. Mm -hmm. And then he gets the check. And then when people start getting killed for real, you act like, oh, what do you mean? I'm just, it's art. I don't, like, know, I don't ah! know what's happening. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I don't know. I don't know. It's interesting conversation there.